Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and today we're looking at Silverstone National in B class uh, so here is a breakdown of the lap um, no, this is, sorry, this is the thumb through of the number one time and then we'll do a breakdown of the lap after that this is in the Honda S800 uh, I use this on Homestead Super Mini I think a couple of weeks ago and I much prefer this track to the other one the car same tune so it's still rather unstable at some point the front wheels aren't even on the ground uh, some laps were completely ruined because of that um, but nowhere near as frustrating I didn't do anywhere near the 80 laps um, I didn't get as competitive time as I did uh, but I thought I'd rather not go and rage over this. So here he's basically easing off the throttle and braking. Just that first box on the pit wall disappears. Um, over on the right. And he stays in fifth all throughout this lap I think. Uh, whereas I was shifting and he's powering out on the apex, not all the way to the outside. This is a rather difficult tune to get a handle of, so you sort of take the line that you can. Uh, there he's, he's done a very good job of that. There you're braking for that little kink. Uh, just a bit. And he completely eases off the throttle as well. Whereas I, I was keeping it quite heavy on the throttle through there, and he's braked all the way. Maybe he's running a different tune. I'm not sure. I think it probably is off the top of my head. Um, and down this long straight uh, until just before that curb. I think it's just that bit of green, that patch of green astroturf as that disappears. That's where he's on the brakes. And there, running quite wide off the curb, then taking the late apex. And this corner. Uh, I really should know the name of it, but I don't, and I don't want to complete. I don't want to pull a name out of a hat to try and guess what one it is. I found that rather difficult. I just couldn't get. It seemed like it was a double apex corner, and I just couldn't find the second one. I could never get on the second one. I was never happy with it, and then on the run up to the line, that uh, kink. He was lifting off some laps. I wasn't. There you go lifting off there getting some air with the front wheel and I thought this Porsche would be a bit like the Honda S800 there was no one around I was going for top 50 which I didn't manage uh, I got rather close I think got within about a quarter of a second but there's a lot of people there in between me and the 50th time I thought this would be similar to the Honda S800 but, as you can see there, it has nothing on it down the straight, it's much better handling. So that, that was rather promising, this lap 5 and I'd already got the car. Well, I felt I had the car under control, but um, yeah, that was never the case with this car. It's an interesting car to drive, it's very much like the Porsche, I did Monza in S class in. Uh, that is one of that's the best I've ever done at a track in like top ten. I think it's the only leaderboard on top ten. Yeah, lap five went super well, thought I'd got hand hold of the car, but then lap six I lost it. Uh, this track I've actually been to in real life, it was back in September last year, I think, we were here for the Genesis team. Um, in the Genesis GC5 we were here and it didn't go great so not good memories of that weekend that was a horrendous weekend we spent like all of the Thursday um, I think I spent four hours of the Thursday sat in the car going up and down on the air jack to try and get the ride heights done because got, we couldn't get the ride heights to settle down whenever we halted it completely throughout the car yeah, that was not a fun day. So lap 10, 
getting all out of shape on the brakes into this corner, ran it far too deep. And um, I think it bogs down out of this corner. Maybe not. That might be the. That might. I think it was lap 10. This must be the one where I had a really good final sector. In comparison to the first. Oh no. No, I'm wrong. There was a lap where I had a really good final sector and I just couldn't replicate it. I was losing. I was getting to a point where I was about four tenths up on each lap by the end of the session. I think it was just about 30 laps. There's about 40 minutes of lapping this track. Um, I don't know what top 100 time was for reference, but um, I'll probably go back and have a look. See, so there again, I was getting the front wheels off the ground going into that corner. It's rather sketchy. I thought that was going straight into the wall. Um, but you get used to it. As you'll see down in the speedometer, I have got traction control with this car, all of the top times were running it. Um, so I thought there was no point in making it more difficult for myself. Um, but I do think that was costing me, especially out of this corner. I really struggled. It seemed to bog down a lot. I couldn't get happy. There, I, I don't think I used off there, or well, certainly not as much as the guy uh, in the top to mind, but he obviously knows what he's doing if he's in the right, whereas I'm in it. Uh, lap 15, this was quite a good lap. Off the top of my head, I think there was only one that left this one. It wasn't the best first sector, but they are just gone through the ghost. I ran it rather deep, and that seem to work quite well cutting back and getting a going really deeper and cutting back for a straighter exit that seemed to work quite well but it does compromise the lap um, that's why none of the top guys are doing that they just just happened my laps before hadn't been good enough so that was the closest i'd been to the ghost but then out of here i Oh, I get a decent exit. It must be, this must be that where I've got a decent exit and then I just couldn't get anywhere near it. And then I thought I'd follow up lap 16, uh, lap 15 with another good lap. And it wasn't the best start to the lap I'd had, but it was about to get a lot worse. And there we go. I think that's now, to both videos with this car, I've managed to roll it, and it, uh, I continued on for, I, that was half the session was with broken, broken window. Um, it didn't really bother me, I felt I'd got the car, I, I had an idea of the line, it's just hitting your braking points right, and it's also quite a lot of luck. Especially for me with this car, it's a lot more luck than judgement of how good the laps were. Uh, so there, I held it quite well through uh, the first proper, no it's the second proper corner isn't it? And then get a massive uh, over speed, nearly half a second up on what I'd done previously. And then this here. I think I bogged down just at the exit, sort of there. It didn't want to steer and then I should have, I could have stayed on the power I felt afterwards. Um, but that was my best lap in the end. Um, 101.8. Just at, well, less than half a tenth. Uh, less than a tenth off of the 50th time but nowhere near so I'll leave it at that thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed I uh, hope to see you in the next one bye for now